Oh, there's a rider up ahead. That looks to be Hugh Carthy. So he's not got anywhere near, really, the, the white jersey. Uphill now for the final kilometre for Jan Hirt. Ten seconds, is it enough? Well, I think it's enough because he was the strongest one on um, the top of the climb, the uh, Santa Cristina, and uh, Armsman has put in a big effort here, but, you know, that 10 seconds on this run in, but again, you can run out of energy. And you can see here, Armsman, you know, he's inside, he has hurt inside, but I think uh, they're both really, you know, at the end of their powers now, and there's nobody able to put in that real effort over the final couple of hundred metres, that they can close that 50 metres, 40 metres of a gap. The famous run into Aprica, sort of false flat uphill from which we've seen heroes emerge in the past. The first being Adorni. This is now the tenth finish here, and it's been almost six hours of racing since we left the shores of Lake Garda. The storms have held off. They're only just approaching now. There's going to be a reshuffling of the general classification behind. And the palmares of the man on your screen is about to change. 31-year-old Jan Hirt is back for a fifth Giro d'Italia. A ninth Grand Tour in total. He's come, he's fought, he's threatened in the past. Three years ago, in the rain, he climbed and descended Mortirolo, fighting, almost literally at one point, with Giulio Ciccone for the stage win. This time his adversary is Tiermann Arensman. He's beaten off him. The likes of Balverde have been beaten as well. Hugh Carthy put on the ropes, and today is his day. Finally, it's Jan Hirt who has his stage win in a Grand Tour. Anto Marché do it for the second time in this race, and 22-year-old Tiermann Arensman is a star in the making, but today will not be his day. Just 700 metres behind, you've got the pink jersey. And they will fight for bonus seconds here, remember. Four bonus seconds on the line. Who's the quickest? And look at that defence. Look at that defence behind from the white jersey. Joao Almeida has been dropped today, but he is not out of the Giro d'Italia. It's a seven-second gap, remember, between the pink jersey Carapaz and the man in the green there, who is Jai Hindley. If Hindley can cap the group here and take the bonus, it's a big ask. He could take the Maglia Rosa. I don't think it's going to happen, but let's see who takes the bonuses first up. It's Lander leading them in, back into a town he won a stage in, in 2015. Carapaz starts to wind it up behind. There's Valverde, who could nick the seconds off all of them yet, even though he doesn't really need them down at nine minutes. There goes Valverde on the right-hand side. Valverde is looking to take some pride, something. Hindley through the centre, trying to use his speed for those four seconds. The Mayanos is on his wheel, trying to come off it as well. Remember, seven seconds before the day. Here comes Hindley to the line. Hindley going all the way to the line, trying to come around him. It's the Mayanos. It's Hindley. It's the Mayanos. Oh, it might be the pink jersey who has it. Photo finish for the bonus seconds. That's how close this Giro d'Italia is. And it's only a handful of seconds that are dropped by Joao Almeida. Look into the distance, because there's a shark fin coming over the hill. Vincenzo Nibali's been dropped, but he's still fighting. He's not out of this Giro d'Italia yet. He will lose time to the Maglia Rosa today, but he will move up in the general classification. Nibali, the Italian hero. Today, not a day for his last blockbuster, but he's in the fight, he's there. And he's lost around 30 to 40 seconds, that's all today. Yes, and Almeida looking like uh, around the 12 seconds, uh, plus one or two each way. Um, um, it's, a, it's a performance there by um, yeah, Nibali because it looked like that he was in real difficulty on the climb, but uh, he certainly made some ground on the descent and he's still very much in the race in the GC. And of course, uh, he's going to move in the GC standings. A huge moment for Anto Marché Wanty Gobert. Jan Hirt, only the fifth stage winner for the Czech Republic in the Giro d'Italia. All the way from Jan Sforada in 1995 to Hirt here in the mountains in 2022.